everyone, it's Miss Ross here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are talking masks. If you didn't already know, then I am a Scottish primary teacher. And at the moment in my school, the expectation is that we wear masks when we're working in close contact with pupils and also when we're moving around the school. When I enter the building in the morning, I'm expected to enter wearing a mask. And when I'm walking along the corridors and in any open spaces that aren't in my own classroom. In primary schools, the children themselves don't actually have to wear masks unless they want to and they feel safer doing that, which is completely fine. And the kind of general expectation is that we socially distance from the children as much as possible which has been really difficult. I think the change in legislation about the masks was definitely a real shock to the system for me. I was used to just occasionally popping my mask on when I was nipping into a shop or when I was on public transport, but I was never really having to wear it very often. And due to these rules, I am having to wear my mask a lot more. Hats off to all of the nurses and workers that do have to wear masks for extended periods of time. I honestly don't know how you do it. If you know me or you've been following my channel for a while, you will know that I love makeup. It just makes me feel more put together when I'm wearing makeup. Makeup, and I enjoy doing it and these masks have been the bane of my life when it comes to wearing makeup to school. Because I'm not necessarily wearing mine all day long and I'm taking it on and off, I do still want to look presentable underneath my mask so I have been wearing makeup to school still. It is a real struggle because whenever you wear a mask it transfers and it comes off easily. A lot of the staff in my school choose not to wear makeup underneath their masks. That is possibly the best option for your skin. On my Instagram I actually put up a poll asking teachers if they have been wearing makeup underneath their masks to school or not and it was pretty close I would say it was pretty close to 50 50 some people like myself are still determined to wear makeup underneath their mask so this video is aimed at people who are not necessarily wearing their mask all day long but that are taking their masks on and off throughout the day and want to still look presentable and wear their makeup underneath hopefully there are some tips that will help you with making sure your makeup stays on all day long and also just some general mask advice to make sure that you're still looking after your skin even when you have been wearing a mask I'm obviously not a makeup or a skincare expert these are just the tips that I've picked up the most important thing is to make sure that your mask is clean. I have quite a few spare masks on the go at one time and I always make sure to clean them after every use. So when I get home from school I'll run some hot water, give my mask a good soak and scrub with just my usual laundry detergent and then before I wear it the next day or later on that week I'll make sure it is fully dried. So if you're wondering where I get my masks from then I've got this lovely flamingo one which I got from Shein. I've also got a mask which I don't currently have on me which I got from Cherry Soda which is a Scottish jewellery and accessories store. I've actually collaborated with them before so I'll link their website down below. I absolutely love their sparkly and their leopard print ones So if you're looking for something a little bit more stylish, then that could be an option for you And I also have your kind of bog standard black and polka dotty ones I try to have them in lots of different colors so that they'll go with my outfits for school because I like to be extra like that I do generally try and buy the reusable ones so that I can wash them and keep wearing them And it's a little bit better for the environment. These ones were just from home bargains I think you need to be careful with the type of mask that you're buying as well because some can definitely be a bit more restrictive than others personally i prefer the ones with a little drawstring at the end the more restrictive the mask is the more likely it is going to rub off all of your makeup i have seen quite a few people buying the mask guards i'll put a little picture here because i don't actually have one myself i think they look a little bit like hannibal lecter it kind of acts as a barrier between your face and the mask I know some people like to apply makeup around where they'd be wearing their mask and just wear nothing underneath it which isn't really an option for me sadly because I am taking my mask on and off during the day and it would look a little bit silly. You could use a fake tan to give yourself that natural kind of glow and you don't have to worry about that coming off under a mask. There are lots of gradual tanners, tinted moisturisers and kind of facial mists that you can use just to brighten your complexion a little bit under the mask. I'm going to talk you through my daily makeup routine when I am wearing a mask to work. These are the products that I use and what kind of works best for me at the moment. So hopefully you'll find it helpful. And here I am looking stunning. This is just my daily skincare routine. I'm going in with a simple cleanser. And then once I've washed that all off and my face is nice and dry and clean, I'm just going to use my toner, which is the Pixi Glow Tonic. This just helps to gently exfoliate and brighten my skin and balance out any oils. My skin type is combination to oily in some places during the day it definitely gets super oily so I want to make sure I try and keep that as best under control as I can. And then you've just watched me putting on my eye cream and my moisturiser. And that is just about it for skincare, we're going to move on to the makeup. This is a tip that I actually learned from TikTok, so I'm just setting my face with some pressed powder. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me, and then I'm just sealing that with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This one is my favourite. Give that a few minutes to dry, and then I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. It is super tacky, and I just think it really helps to keep my makeup on all day long. 
The foundation that I'm using is the Fenty Pro Filter. The good thing about this foundation is that it has a sweat and humidity resistant formula. Make sure when you are picking out your foundation it is a long lasting one. Initially I'm going to apply it with the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. I usually do prefer to use a brush to apply my makeup, but I did read somewhere that using a beauty blender helps to press it more into your skin and make it last all day. I've been using this concealer for a long time now, it is the Maybelline Instant. I just love the coverage that it gives me and I buff that in with a beauty blender. And now I'm going in with even more powder, this is the Kick-Ass one by Soap and Glory. You can never have too much powder in your life. If you're not too keen on the idea of wearing lots of foundation under your mask, then you can just make sure you really emphasise your eye makeup. Here I'm just applying my two favourite mascaras and then just finishing off the rest of my makeup. Once I've applied the rest of my makeup as normal, then I like to give it a little bit of time to set. I'll get dressed and get my things organised, but before it's time to leave, I will just grab a little tub of my loose powder. This is the Maybelline Master Fix, and I'll just use that to bake the areas where my makeup is likely to be rubbing off under my mask. And then sadly, when it comes to lips, at the moment I've just been putting on a little bit of lip balm. If you do know me, you'll know that I love lipstick, but I'm just yet to find one that stays on underneath my mask without me ending up looking like the Joker. Obviously these tips are never going to be perfect. If you are wearing a lot of makeup and you're wearing a mask for long periods of time during the day, it is likely there is going to be some transfer. If you have super oily skin like me, then it is going to be very difficult to try and keep it under control. I just try as best I can at breaks and lunch times to apply powder and touch up my makeup. And one of my most important tips of all is to make sure you wash your face as soon as you get home and you've got your mask off. Skincare is so important in reducing that mask knee. Naturally, wearing a mask with makeup isn't going to be the best for your skin so just make sure that you're staying hydrated you're eating healthily and you're taking good care of your skin making sure that you're washing thoroughly every day and every night hopefully you found this video helpful if you have any tips about wearing masks and makeup or just tips for wearing masks in general i would love to hear it make sure you leave them down below and i will see you in my next video bye